normally at this time of year, we'd be singing, take me out to the ball game and going to watch the A's or the Giants. A few years ago, the Giants had a great moment in their history when a player by the name of Travis Ishikawa hit a walk-off home run to put them into the World Series. Travis is a part of our cathedral family, and he is currently coaching for the Giants down in Arizona. He joins us right now. Travis, it's great to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me on here. Uh, Travis, uh, the pandemic has turned everything upside down. How has spring training been different for you this year? It's definitely been, uh, it's been unique. It's been a struggle. Um, obviously, without being in baseball, you know, we're home all day. And, um, you know, the kids are home all day. You know, their school's been ended for the year, so they're doing everything remotely. And so now being their teacher and uh, has really learned, I've really learned a lot more about patience, to uh, say the least. Well, speaking of being on lockdown with the four kids that you have, I know your manager, he's single, and so he's locked down all by himself. Which do you think is more challenging? Because I'm biased, I'll say the kids. Um, obviously, like I just said, we, you know, just, they know how to push your buttons. They know how to get, uh, <laughs> they know how to get under your skin. But at the same time, um, you know, my, my manager that I talked to, you know, quite a bit, he was telling me how he was, you know, the isolation was starting to get to him a little bit. And, mm -hmm. and like any, I mean, with anything, not just with this, but anything we've ever gone through, if we've ever tried to go through it alone, I know me personally, every time I've tried to go through something alone, I've failed. Um, you know, we need to have that community. We need to have that relationship. We need, we need to have those mentors in our lives to, to help us to grow. And definitely isolation definitely is never, uh, never, never, never recommended by me, at least. Yeah. Well, it's, it's very difficult. That's why we have to try to do our best to still stay connected. Now, Travis, you have a tattoo on your forearm. You have massive forearms, so it's a massive tattoo. And the tattoo reads, delays are not denials. Why is that phrase so meaningful for you? All right, well, let me, let me show you the tattoo that Pastor Ken's talking about. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what he means about big farms. I guess I can just blame this on the uh, lack of being able to go to the gym. <laughs> um, I got the tattoo in 2014, uh, right at the end of the season, that I wanted to make sure that what was going to be on the, my body for the rest of my life was something impactful and meaningful to mm -hmm. me. And it was one that I've heard you say many times on Sundays, you know, preaching on uh, over there at cathedral and and it's delays are not denials and and um, you know I, I loved the concept of it and I was able to tie it back to my 2014 season as well I mean as a lot of you know I hit that home run in October which has I mean easily the pinnacle of my sports career and my sports life um, you know, all the way back from t-ball um, that's the moment we all all kids dream about uh, but for many of you that don't know Three months earlier, I was in AAA. I was benched. Easily could say I was in one of my deepest valleys that I've ever been uh, in my sports career. And every valley I've ever been through, I've looked back, you know, whether it's been weeks, months, years. And, and at the time, when you're in the moment, it's the worst feeling in the world. But when you look back, you're like, man, I, I, not only did I get through it, but I became a better person. Or that, had a, that, that, that moment impacted me in a greater way than I could have ever imagined. So, um, so easy to say, but, but just realizing that, that God's got a plan for you. Um, and just because, you know, it's, you're struggling in that moment doesn't mean it's going to last forever. Well, that's, that's a great word of encouragement, Travis. Travis, uh, thanks so much for being here. Now, stay safe, stay strong. And you do have massive forearms because I've seen those forearms hit 300-yard drives on the golf course. Yeah, if only it helped my putting, then we'd be, we'd be doing a little bit better, but yeah. Uh, say hello to Rochelle and the kids. I will do that. Thank you. You too. Each week, we've been giving you an update on the massive need of those who are food insecure here in the area and how our Reaching Out Food program has been stepping up with our partners to try and meet that need. Not only are we distributing food right here on campus, but we're also delivering food to senior complexes throughout the area. Take a look at what's been happening.